This is the main piece of the recording shot by the group of the submerged chief Henry Bohr in 1964 that I can show you the remainder of the video is about to be edited by YouTube for being too horrendous the man gone after by the shark was the chief himself he was plunging close. Woman Julia Percy Island to tape seals for his film yet rather he experienced a merciless hunter when Henry's partners hurried to his salvage and got the casualty out of the water, they saw that the shark had bitten off his leg anyway such. Cases don't stop anybody in 2014. A monster shark went after a South African submarine. Luckily the hunter didn't get to the group who were simply noticing whales. Yet once in a while people deliberately approach wild creatures they chase, mountain bears train or case. Salvage wins and take on hippopotamuses as pets yet frequently their trust in effectively subduing the hazardous creatures closes in death so who of us is probably going to succumb to a hunter, regardless of whether I get eaten by a shark or croc the primary thing I need is that it be. Recorded in the event that I kick the bucket I would be miserable assuming nobody got it on tape. These words are about the most renowned television naturalist Steve Irwin. It's basically impossible that you haven't seen him. He's the daring blonde khaki-clad legend who educates us concerning risky. Fauna and continue to yell, see Irwin was nicknamed the Crocodile Tracker yet in genuine, he saved creatures, was a co-proprietor of the Australian Zoo, and established a nature preservation establishment called Untamed Life Champions over all various parks, zoos, roads, a boat considered my Steve Irwin to Snail species called K, Y. Stephen, and, surprisingly, a space rock 57,567 K. Why have all been named after him? It's a disgrace, however, that you can't make sense of for a wild creature that you're an undeniably popular biologist and you won't hurt it on. September 4, 2006, Steve set out to the incomparable obstruction reef to record some recording with a lethal tiger shark for a narrative series called Sea's Deadliest Irwin, jumped and spent a seriously prolonged stretch of time in the water yet so far, hasn't figured out how to find the shark unexpectedly he saw a two and a half met Stingray and chose to tape it. The recording was ideal for another undertaking called Bendy the Wilderness. Young Lady the television program highlighted his little girl who chose to emulate her dad's example in the show she should educate different children concerning wild creatures so. Irwin needed to assist her with the video the television moderator embraced the stingray he thought nothing remained to be dreaded since stingrays present basically no danger to people most specialists. For sure view stingrays as tame animals who assault once in a blue moon and just with good reason most wounds from the chomps of the species are restricted in the space of lower legs and shins and happen when an individual coincidentally steps on a stingray that has covered itself in the sand when Steve brought the stingray up before the camera to get a close-up of the animal the creature likely felt caught and stung the television moderator regardless of being extremely difficult stingray poison is normally not destructive briefly the cameraman Justin Lyons overreacted yet kept recording Irwin and his team had a course of action if after an creature assault, which is a genuinely successive event in his profession, the moderator's state of being weakened, he would offer his team a hint on the off chance that there's no sign, there's compelling reason need to stop the work cycle, so having recorded the stingray the cameraman and Irwin got back to the boat, where obviously the moderator was experiencing difficulty Breathing as it turned out, the stingray had infused its toxic substance squarely into Steve's chest, precisely where his heart was. It had never happened to anybody before, in light of the fact that the stingray had hit a basically significant organ. Irwin couldn't be saved. The fans were stunned by the way that notwithstanding, having worked with profoundly perilous creatures for as long as he can remember their venerated image, kicked the bucket from a common stingray injury, obviously everybody needed to see, simply in thrilling film. Particularly, 
since Irwin himself would have needed this by the by disclosure interchanges the organization that had worked with Irwin's profession expressed the video can never be displayed on TV after the examination all duplicates of the recording were obliterated aside from one which, as verified in the authority explanation, was given to Irwin's better half Terry rumours from far and wide suggest that she likewise annihilated the tape with without watching it despite the fact that there is a low-quality video coursing on the web called Steve. Irwin Last Moment Video It's obscure whether the recording is truly the biologist passing, turned into an extraordinary misfortune. Yet we can't say it had been surprising very much like the conspicuous consequence of Timothy Treadwell's exploratory. Bear Chase in 2003 Timothy set up for business in Tip, where wild bears resided and he noticed them certain individuals say they've seen recordings of him contacting the bears and playing with their fledglings, yet the officers of Catme Public Park, where the man was a regular guest caution Treadwell, that his strategies for concentrating on grizzly. Bears were risky, as well as unlawful, since he set up his tents in disallowed regions, extremely near the grizzlies, so in 2003, this bear devotee has consistently disrupted every one of the guidelines, and went to the piece of the recreation area called the Grizzly Labyrinth this time he was, well, joined by his sweetheart, Amy Hugard. It was October when bears stock up on nourishment for the colder time of year gain fat for hibernation and act all the more forcefully yet Treadwell actually set up for business, not such a long ways from the creatures sooner or later, the couple quit reaching. There, there. Companions and family members, then the helicopter pilot who travelled to the area to get the couple from the campground, saw a terrible scene from above distorted human remaining parts, spread around the tent the recreation area officers were educated regarding the fine and hurried to the side of the misfortune. Immediately there, they experienced a furious grizzly who must be killed the creature's stomach necropsy, affirmed that it had destroyed Timothy and his sweetheart a camera was found among their neglected possessions. It had six minutes of film, where nothing should have been visible except for. One could hear the hysterical shouts of individuals being destroyed by a mountain bear various producers attempted to convince the officers to impart the video to them to make a film about the occasion utilising genuine sound film anyway. The recreation area representatives thought it was harsh. Still. The passings of individuals in these two stories looked legitimate anyway. Horrendous it might sound such outrageous fans had no possibilities remaining alive, except for how bound to endure are individuals who are talented at subduing wild creatures the preparation of wild creatures has consistently raised. Warmed conversation individuals in this profession generally say they attempt to guarantee the creatures are kept in the most potential agreeable circumstances to try not to cause them agony, and stress the creatures frequently begin to fail to remember their life and wild nature, or have hardly any familiarity with it being brought into the world in bondage, the web is overflowing with viral recordings of risky creatures lovably playing with their mentors, and even readily doing the stunts they've been instructed. Yet that is not generally the situation for instance in this recording. You can see the mishap that occurred on February 24, the 2010 at SeaWorld Park in San Diego. During a program show, a female mentor Tamri Toyson was sitting at the water's edge, close to orcas named Orchid and Sprinkle out of nowhere. The creatures began forcefully maneuvering her into the water. It was all event, before the watchers large numbers of whom were kids. The young lady couldn't break liberated from the orca's jaws since every one of them weighed somewhere around three tons different representatives, likewise didn't have the foggiest idea how to defy the furious hunters and save their colleague yet. Then a mentor called Robin Sheets thought of a somewhat hazardous plan to deliver one more orca into the supply apparently on the off chance that the representatives had been not able to dissuade two orcas. It was absolutely impossible that they could manage three yet, this orca was a prevailing one. 
It moved toward Orchid and Sprinkle, motioned to them some sort of, and they let go of the young lady Tamar's life, was saved by the by tragically not all see, a hunter mentors are this fortunate for example, around the same time what is happening occurred at SeaWorld this time, in Orlando, a ca mentor where Branco was attacked by an orca named Tium, who weighed just about five and a half tons, and for this situation tragically, the young lady couldn't be saved the recreation area. Proprietors said the animals were taken care of in consistence with every one of the norms and the orcas were. Cordial to the mentors before that occasion yet, as per zoologists, when the creatures who had the whole sea available to them get secured in the recreation area's restricted repositories, they get mental injury that can show itself at the most startling second in. Expansion it's undeniably challenging to control what techniques the coaches use and whether they don't hurt the creatures during preparing, for instance, in June of 2013. A bizarre worker, Alexander Crispin, was running with two tigers around the playpin and utilizing a stick to make. The creatures go around aimlessly. They had previously been shown to do this, so it was simply normal preparation for them out of nowhere. One of the tigers concluded it had enough, and jumped at creature, the creason thumped the man off his feet, and proceeded barbarously destroying him, albeit the bazaar. Workers hit the tiger with a metal stick to pursue it away in the end, Chryson passed on from blood misfortune, regardless of whether a stunt with a wild creature wins flawlessly on many times, no one can really tell when things will go AR, for example, Alon Sam Sodin, was a Malaysian snake charmer who set standards with risky creatures in the mid-90s. He became popular in light of basically living in a little room with 400 cobras for 12 hours every day. For 40 days, he was named the ruler of snakes and scorpions, since one time he secured himself in a case with 6,000 scorpions for quite a long time. Still in 2006, he got chomped by a cobra during one of his shows, and this nibble became destructive for him. Yet, how do animals act with individuals who treat them well or even save their lives previously? A rancher from South Africa, Maria Zell was popular. In view of his pet hippopotamus, whom he used to ride like a pony, Murus, protected it from a flood when the creature was still extremely youthful, and afterward he let him stay in his family Humphrey, that is the means by which Els known as the Hippopoamus answered its name ate apples out of. The center of his proprietor's hand played with him and let the man clean his teeth, simply investigate the teeth of a developed hippopotamus, it can undoubtedly bite your arm off. There was discussion in the rancher environmental factors that the man treated the Hippopoamus like an animal as well as like a child. Mario didn't believe Humphrey to be risky despite the fact that every other person saw the creature's clandestine hostility. It went after cows, and surprisingly, killed one of them one day. Murus went on a climb with Humphrey, and vanished later his body was viewed as unexpectedly in the same stream where he'd once saved the hippopotamus. From the flood deciding from the injuries, the creature had in all likelihood destroyed its proprietor, and afterward unloaded him into the water, for reasons unknown individuals, some of the time figure they can substitute the mother for. Youthful creatures. It could work with homegrown creatures, however, not with wild ones still a wolf coach at Colotan Untamed Life Park, contradicted this proclamation. In 2012, a lady, whose name the media decided to keep undisclosed, chose to visit the nook of the wolves she'd spoke with back. At the point when they were puppies, it's obscure how long had passed since their last experience, yet her associates conceded they infrequently visit even the wild creatures of the recreation area, so they get acquainted with people being certain the wolves would perceive her, the lady set off on a mission to see. The creatures alone, and spent a seriously prolonged stretch of time in the sanctum, when her colleague went to mind her, they saw the wolves destroying the lady's body, they scarcely figured out how to move toward the hunters to make it lights out time for them. The wolves basically wouldn't leave the 
person in questions. Body alone, sadly, the lady couldn't be saved. It's vital to constantly recollect that wild creatures will not act like, for example, a homegrown canine who will remember you after quite a while separated. As a matter of some importance, the hunters see you. As their prey, by and by, certain individuals figure they can get to know even a python Elliot Sensan from the town of Upper Munji, Pennsylvania, went through around 10 years working with snakes once he protected a bow constrictor from a family who had been brutal to the creature, Elliot, took the 8. KG reptile home to join different creatures he'd saved before yet. Because of the pressure experienced on account of its previous proprietors, the snake was fairly forceful and not extremely inclined to contact Elliot's companions over and over, let him know he ought to track down a spot for the python to remain as quick as conceivable on the grounds that it was basically impossible that he planned to manage such an enormous reptile alone, yet nobody needed to embrace the snake because of its exorbitant resistance on July 24, 2020. To Elliot's grandma who had stayed with her. Grandson saw him immobilized with a python around his neck, as it turned out Sensan was attempting to clean the reptile's terrarium. When unexpectedly, the python went after him. Elliot was attempting energetically to break free while his grandmother was calling 911. Before long, the police showed up. They shot the python so it would relinquish Elliot. However, it was past the point of no return the creature had stifled its hero to death. At this point, Elliot wasn't the main individual who concocted the plan to make a whole zoo of snakes without any help for. Example, there's the Reptile House in Oxford, Indiana, in it the neighborhood Sheriff Mason kept 150 reptiles. He got the snakes reproduced them and, surprisingly, sold them Laura Hurst shared Munson's side interest and 20 snakes from the house had a place with her she paid them ordinary visits two times. Oh. Weak yet, on one occasion, Laura was found oblivious with a reticulated python folded over her neck, very much like in the past case. The lady couldn't be saved after the narrowing the police found a photograph Laura had required the day preceding the mishap. This snake is accepted. To be the person who killed the young lady after a nearby gander at the photograph, Meeson was stunned to understand that the snake wasn't one of the 20 reptiles Laura dealt with so she just committed an error and taken some unacceptable snake, which was the reason the creature killed her well. Never no reality, yet Laura wasn't protected from being gone after even by her own snake homegrown creatures, who have resided with their proprietors for a long time, can likewise change their way of behaving out of nowhere, Mike Tyson's Bengal Tiger, Michael Jackson's Chimpanzee, Paris Hilton's. Ruler Keiju Salvador Carts is manageable insect-eating animal today wild creatures at home. Are not something strange yet, it used to be something big name shock general society with, and customary individuals could become stars thanks to such a pet. This is what befallen John Randall and his companion Anthony Pro Burke in 1969. They moved to London to open an antique furniture store, yet on one occasion they saw a lion whelp in a pet shop and had the insane thought of getting it from that point forward the two companions became. Well known on the grounds that they appeared at different get-togethers with their own manageable lion Christian, which was his name, seemed to be some demigod he went along with them in for convertible rides feasted at eateries, and hydrated from a major porcelain cup, yet the lion was developing quick and the London. Loft was turning out to be excessively little for this wild creature. Then Joan and Expert pursued a hard decision to leave behind their pet and delivery it into the wild nature with the help of nature moderates they shipped Christian to Kura Public Park in Kenya yet unfit to bear the trouble they felt from having expressed farewell to their wild companion the men went to. Visit their lion, who was full grown they couldn't say whether he would remember them the recreation area representatives showed them the place where the lion typically refreshed soon, the creature came out of it stowing away and having seen a few outlines somewhere far off the lion, unexpectedly bounced at the two companions, 
and it became one of YouTube's most popular recordings of a wild creature. Hurrying to embrace people this may be something Sandra Posa Wolf Coach at Coleman. Natural Life Park, expected to encounter in her lawn, the lady kept confines with nine wolf canine mixtures. She additionally realized them back when they were puppies and ventured into the enclosure to take care of them consistently. However, ultimately, the lady was found dead. She had many indentations and passed on from blood. Misfortune yet not just sharped tooth hunters can go after an individual attempting to tame them. For example, Gerald Rushon of East Texas kept a grovel in a pet hotel. It was fleecy and charming, and surprisingly, got to know a homegrown bunny with time Bambi developed into a red deer, who one day he just driven Gerald into the wall with his horns. Then the creature began being much more forceful and gone after its proprietor. It gave the man such a strong blow with its feet that he passed on, and what could we at any point anticipate from a chimpanzee? It's not exceptionally large, has neither teeth nor horns, and if the need emerges it very well, may be managed effectively also, that it's our nearest relative, and at times it's as simple to settle on some mutual interest with chimpanzees, for all intents and purposes, with small kids, or is it Sandra Herald from Connecticut, had a pet chimpanzee named Travis, whom she raised like a little kid. The creature turned out to be particularly significant for the lady, when her girl kicked the bucket, followed by her significant other. Then Sandra coordinated every last bit of her adoration. At Travis still both the lady and the creature experienced melancholy, brought about by the loss of friends and family, no matter what this Travis even, was the star of television promotions, one of them for Pepsi, albeit the monkey felt far better. Around people there were minutes when its state of mind would disintegrate, and afterward it would escape from its home on one such event Sandra's companion. Sharla Nash, who likewise frequently invested energy with Travis, elected to help in the hunt after she found the chimpanzee. Not a long way from Sandra's home Charlotte, began attempting to get the creature to return home with her tricking him with a stimulate me Elmo doll, which he preferred, definitely. In any case, out of nowhere, Travis went wild. He hopped at the lady and thumped her to the ground. Travis was hitting Charlotte energetically, and knowing her Sandra was close by and saw this event, in spite of the fact that she cherished her pet, beyond all doubt the lady understood that now she needed to pick whose life to save Travis or her companions. Then the lady got a digging tool and begun raising a ruckus around town. However, none of it affected Travis, then she cut him with a blade and he ran into the house, abandoning a path of blood him. Sandra called the police, who in the long run shot the creature who resembled a youngster to her Charlotte. Endure yet the chimpanzee broke practically every last bit of her facial bones, denied her of vision and detached her eyelids, nose, jaw, lips, and most skin from her head. Her life was until the end of time. Changed yet assuming you imagine that main wild creatures can go after you, you're off base. You should be careful around trained and family creatures too. In 1991, Carl Holly was pounded into the ground by a 45k Joe goat in Grasshopper Woods, Oklahoma, for reasons unknown the map. Concluded he could utilize a goat rather than a guard dog while preparing the creature to safeguard the house. He frequently hit it with a stick. Eventually, the goat couldn't endure anything else and began hitting its proprietor back with its horns. The goat gave the man such countless sharp blows that his midsection got destroyed. After the mishap, the province specialists concluded the goat must be put down anyway. The choice was met with shock by local people since the creature had no other decision and it can't be considered liable for Carl's passing, so the goat was simply placed in a cover. However, a few animals can act cruy, even with no great explanation in 2012 Terry Vance, gather from Oregon, had a cardiovascular failure. While he was taking care of his animals, the rancher fell over the wall into the pig pen. Since these animals are omnivores, they basically continued eating their lunch and all that was there before them, including their proprietor, 
So as it turns out, it's ideal to be cautious around all creatures. Nobody is to trust separated from felines and canines. They could never, however, stand by. What do you mean by never many canine proprietors are certain that that, their dearest pet, won't ever harm them as well as, in the event that such a need emerges, will safeguard them from an assault? Yet in 2017, something peculiar happened. Bethany Lynn Stevens was found in the forest dead, her body ravaged close by, stood her two faithful canines when the police shown up at the site. They quickly concluded the canines had killed their proprietor. Albeit the young lady's loved ones didn't completely accept that it the specialists think the indentations on her body very closely resemble canine nibbles, so then we're left with just felines. Right? I wouldn't confide in them either on the Planet Diary of Clinical Cases. There's an account of a man who kicked the bucket from a feline chomp and no the creature didn't go after its proprietor. It was a fun-loving nibble, nothing more, except for in weeks the man passed on from a bacterial contamination called Pastoris, which his feline had given to him, so which creature is as yet protected to keep at home, compose your thoughts in the remarks and buy into the feed.